Hey, greetings. Thanks for tuning in to Channel Peace if you could find it. I was told to stay in your lane. Well, not specifically tell me that, but I was told that it's a good thing for everyone to stay in your lane and to speak on what you know. Well, I want to speak on my time in the Apostolic Pentecostal Church and as a servant unto the Lord, a dutiful, dutiful, working for free servant of the Lord. Okay. I was on Earthship Board number two and three. Oh, I was in a, I won't name the organization uh, or the, um, but it was a big one. And it was Apostolic Pentecostal, P-A-W, Pentecostal Assemblies of the World. And we were considered the, uh, the fast group because we uh, accepted female preaching. We accepted it. We wore pants and some wore makeup. So we were considered the fast uh, sanctified people. And then there was another church down the road. They wore the, the covering, <laughs> you know, napkins and tablecloths. Uh, and they uh, had men that sat on the front row where well, we did too, because women specifically came in to gap their legs open to entice the preacher. So as a usher, you couldn't sit females on the front row. But in the other uh, strict Pentecostal um, church, they didn't wear pants. No women could preach. They, nothing like that because I had took a associate to hear a female preacher. It was Evangelist McCullough. And Evangelist McCullough pulled out that handkerchief and my friend, she had to, she wanted to go. We had to leave. But eventually she came around and just fell in love with uh, Evangelist McCullough. But it, it was a shock to her. She could, when she pulled out that handkerchief, but you couldn't stop her from uh, appreciating her message after that. But um, yeah, on the Earth she wore it. Um, I didn't know that the white glove came from slavery time when we were enslaved and they had us working in the church oh, oh this is what i heard allegedly we had to wear the white gloves so as we did not touch them and put our hands behind our back because we did that I, we had the white gloves and we had to walk down the aisle we thought we were so hip and cool <laughs> in our uniform going to get them uh, uh, altar at Anna's uniform on Woodward in Detroit blue and then they decided we want a different color and then you have to spend your money they were like $35 back then but you're spending your money that you don't have because yeah we need blue for the spring and red for the fall but anyway enough of the, the choir uh, I mean the worship board but yeah I joined the choir but I was so sick of the world, I came in and I wanted to sing with the senior choir because I love the old songs. James Cleveland, those old hymns that they sing from the 40s and the 50s. <laughs> those real, those blood songs, those were the one I was into. I was against anything that was worldly because I didn't like the world. I was, I came out of the world. But, um, yeah, the choir, every choir director they were they were of the alphabet way they were of that way you could tell and then there's politics in there if they don't like you the uh, director of the choir will not let you sing she's gonna put the person up that you know what is it nepotism cronyism it's in there it's in there, it's politics, even between the churches. 
one thinking they better than the other one one is saved and one is not one baptizing and title and one is not it's argument and bitter because they wear the, the covering and you don't we wear pants and you don't you cut your hair and we don't you wear makeup and we don't you divorce and we don't but they all doing wrong they all doing wrong but now it had gotten to the point where now these uh the pastor's wife had an armor bearer an armor bearer and they going by the old testament that king david had an armor bearer so they just grabbing shit to to make it useful for them and then they get some female running around with them and it's to me that's like it's like is that some kind of alphabet thing you uh, what are you a slave and a servant to um the pastor's wife carrying her bags and purses and just her servant and they gave you the type of title armor bearer i don't like that y'all just taking it to another level you're going too far you're going too far you went too far but um yeah, that's all I see. The hair comes on women's face. Yeah. And then, if you didn't speak in tongues, you were not saved. Do you know how many Christians who really love the Lord who did not speak in tongues? They practiced, they did everything they could. It just, they didn't have the gift of God. You know, I'm looking at other religions and I'm making this long. They all can go off into a tenzi if you if the music is right and you keep you can keep talking about uh, anything, a turtle or a Donald Duck, and the milk is right and, and the organ is playing and they use it over and over and you go into this trance, this tizzy, and this body takes over. It takes over. All religions shout and speak in tongues in some kind of way. Because we all can go into a trance about something that we're getting real excited about. And we want to see and come and save us. You know, someone that we think that we're praying and talking to and it's answering us back. We can go into a tizzy just thinking about that thing. And the music is a powerful thing. It can make you cry. It can make you dance. It can make you shout. And it can make something take over on you. Because we are spiritual beings. Yes, we are. I felt it a couple of times. I can't deny it. I won't lie. And I don't know what that is. But I'm a spiritual being. I had just came back from taking communion and I walked in the aisle and then something came over me and it got into my feet and it kept, I, I couldn't control it. I don't know what that is, but I still, I just don't see any sense in, um, I, I don't know what that was. I'll say that. I don't know what that was. I'll say that. I don't know what that was. I'll say that. I don't know what that was. I'll say that. Thanks for tuning in to channel Peace If You Can Find. Like, share, leave a comment, subscribe.